Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Stellaris Qdish Force here in version 2.2.2 something 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 something. I'm Mal and I'm once again joined by Mickey Sabouts and Vanguard. Hey fellas. Hello. Hello. So we were looking at the call is going. Oh, they're, mine, mine are fine. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yes, I have multiple. I have multiples. Okay. Oh. Like oh. a sh like a shark. <laughs> Okay, so we were looking at the Viserion Imperium, the guys we want to go to war with, and fortunately, they are, they have an agree, I guess a defense agreement or whatever with the Iberic Star Dynasty. So that's nice. So what we can do is we can declare war, which we're going to do in a moment, and we can cross through their territory and head straight on in. You guys are done with your claims? You're good? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, and is everybody's fleets here in Dongar? Yes. Yep, yep. Yeah, okay. mine actually is on the top, but don't worry about it. Okay, gotcha. Right, because you're going to attack from... Where are you yes. going to go in through? From Yankuri. Yakuri, or whatever. Yankuri. The enemy system is Hom Homestone. <sighs> oh, okay. I'm going to say the enemy Homestone. system is Hompstomp. Hump? Hump Hump Stomp. Stomp. That sounds awesome. Okay. And don't forget you get the edicts that improve your fleet. Armor, oh, right, yeah, good point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's stuff. grab that. Stuff. Let's see. Plus sublight. Yep, we'll grab that. Volatile ammunition. Yep, no reason not to do that. Volatile explosives. Volatile reactive armor. Focusing crystals. Yep, okay. Bought all that stuff. Okay. It's cheap for those boosts, too, really. I mean, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, they're kind of mandatory. Okay, declare war. Let's kill some aliens! How come uh, no war goal selected? Yeah, conquer claim, animosity. Oh, you know what? Mickey, Mickey, you need to do it. Or... Mickey, you or Vanguard need to do it because you're, you're going to do it against them and you have claims. Um, you want might be best for it to be, yeah, Vanguard, yeah. I don't want to kind of... Okay, so hold on. <laughs> Just give me a second. Uh, uh, I'm going to do it. For you, declare war. Conquer claim, declare war. I think I made it. That was easy. Ah, yes. I <laughs> vote yes. Yes. Hmm. Let me think about it. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. They're fighting. Stop fighting. Okay. And we are at war. Oh, they had a yeah. same ship in my system. That Once more. Oh, poor ship. I got 13 sectors or 13 systems claimed. That was my limit. All right, moving out. I got my ships following yours. See, they are following correct. Got guys, guys. Oh no, they're following your 63k fleet. Or whoever's fleet that is. Oh, my, yeah, big guns. It's my battleship big gun fleet or whatever with a titan. And destroyers as cover. Okay, let's go take out... I get, Do we want to go straight into their territory or do we want to beat these guys up first? We just got done kicking these guys' uh, asses in, so I don't really think they're going to do much. I, I say we just head straight into the Sari Imperium in tor uh, territory. I go for it. Okay. Although we may have to come back, because um, they might not surrender, right? Yeah, it depends. And if, the, and if that's the case, we will. I'm going to send a little fleet into Dongar to sort of protect that point. Okay, now cross over into our target territory. Oh, poor little basic star base doesn't last very long. Aww. It doesn't. Poor little thing. It sort of goes kaput. 
Oh, their their uh their capital's not that far away. Anybody got transports? Yes, yes sir. Yeah, I have okay. them following my cruiser fleet. Where's the capital? Oh yeah, I see it. I'm gonna head right there to their capital. They actually have... Well, it's not that impressive. I was gonna say they've got uh, some defenses, but it's only 4.5k. Like, that ain't gonna last long. Yeah. I'm gonna die! How would you like to be the guys on that station? And... <laughs> And you, you see like 200, 300,000 military power worth of ships coming in and you've got 4.5k. That wouldn't, that wouldn't feel very good, I don't think. <laughs> be like, no! Alright. Do we want to... You know what I, I was saying before, Mal? Uh, I lost a Corvette against a 3.2k fleet. I have 42k battle strength. So right. it's more than 10 times stronger than I lost one Corvette. This is the downside of building mass corvettes that you asked me before. Right, right. But it's the only dumb one. <laughs> so. Okay, I'm gonna send that there. Okay, I'm gonna split up here a little bit. I'm gonna send some towards Rana, and then I'm gonna send some to clean up this stuff behind us. What is this guy? What are these guys' tech again versus us? Are they like pathetic or something? Yes, there. Okay. We're just oh, kicking pathetic, out that cat. Pathetic, pathetic, inferior. They have inferior tech. Wow. Okay. Mm. Poor little guys. Almost feel bad for them. I don't. You don't really? Nope. You're heart. You're heartless, man. That's why you're our military commander. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The billet fits you well. Mercy for the week. About it. Exactly. They should have thought about it before they didn't join our alliance. But we didn't invite them. It's not my problem. They should have asked for it. They should have asked for it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, if somebody wants to take the planet, their capital, that would be good. Somebody's got transports. I'll keep destroying systems. Complete. Oh, they got a fleet up here. 14k worth, huh? Alright. Let's see how this battle goes. Battle commenced. I don't think it's gonna go well for them. No. First shot they went from 14k <laughs> to 13. Second volley Ouch. they went to 10. Just watching the remnants now. Yeah, we lost uh, a total of 0.5, and they lost 14k. Yeah, that was pretty good for us. Oh, sad. That's one thing, too, I think, that newer players to Stellaris can sometimes have a hard time with is, you know, the abstract, quote-unquote, military power. And, you know, like, I'll, I'll see those comments on the forums, and then I'll sometimes, I don't know if you guys see it, I'll see it in the comments on the channel of like, I did such and such a fight, and, and I had 5,000 more military power than the other guy, but then I, you know, I got crushed. And that number is just an estimate. It, it doesn't mean against that particular type of ship, or ship configurations, or the tech. Um, I have There's... a clear way of saying this, Miles. Oh, hit it up, buddy. Uh, that number is just the DPS of your ship, damage per second, that's all. 
but not it how take effective into it's going to be. Yeah. Yes, it doesn't take into account your range. It doesn't take into account uh, your evasion, the amount of hit points every single ship has. So just ignore it. I have already made fleets that have half of the combat power defeat fleets that have double of the combat power. It's just a matter of knowing how to make the, sorry, how to crush the numbers. You need to make a very evasive fleet, for example. You are going to crush a way bigger fleet if they cannot compensate for your evasion and goes the way around. So don't feel bad if you are losing the fights to a superior or to an inferior number. You just take a close look at what they have on their ships and try to understand why their weaponry, why their holes, why their evasion is beating yours. That, that's how you need to approach it. So it's just DPS. Like the if number. they're, for instance, if they, who, like maybe they had better shields than you and so they went real shield heavy on their ships and your first yeah. couple fights with them, you're like really, really ineffective. Look at your weapon classes because there's a decent chance that it's because you're not using, you know, um, an effective, Research complete. Uh, an effective uh, weapon type. Like maybe you're using all torpedoes or whatever that are less effective against shields and actually torpedoes bypass shields more. Uh <laughs> oh, I'm thinking about neutron launchers, sorry. But <laughs> yes, yeah, but like uh like for instance kinetic artillery, right? Plus one hundred percent shield damage, but they're not as good at doing armor. You know, that would be a good weapon choice against something like that. Yes. Defense platforms. Maybe. I think the correct way of putting it is that maybe you're using a lot of torpedoes and they have very heavy point defense oriented ships. Then why tarp corvettes work? Because if you have 250 ships firing torpedoes, it doesn't matter how much point defense they're they have. They become some of them are going yeah. yeah. Some of them are going through and there is nothing you can do about it. That's why corvettes are OP. They're not OP in the early game, they're OP in the late game. I think now you can show the cruiser setup you're making, the carrier cruiser. That's a very good mid-game ship. I th and maybe it's the best mid-game ship. If people are having trouble, just copy that design. It's going to go against everything well. It just suffers against oh, a yeah. very huge battlefield battle uh, Gauss, ship. Gauss cannon with plasma, some point defense, strike craft, and then again, Gauss and plasma in the back. Yeah, yeah I like yeah. this design. Yes. Because I like carriers. I wish they were even better. Yeah, carriers are needing some love, I have to say. Fortunately, the player community for Stellaris is pretty darn vocal. Yes, they are. Like, and in, I think for the most part, in the best way. Like, you know, this needs work and what have you. Yeah, we try I mean, to help them. It definitely helps the game. It doesn't hurt it, I would say. Uh, but it all depends, too, on whether or not the developers are actually receptive to that kind of feedback. Yeah, yeah some game companies... <coughs> that's the... That doesn't listen to their <laughs> community at all. Under attack. Just kind of ignores them. Well, or honestly, tells them, it's, it's or much tells better to fix their game. I know it's much better than a community kind of looking at a game and being like, "Oh yeah, this is good, this is good," and then they don't play it, they don't criticize it, they don't say ways it could be better. They just think it's okay, but they don't play it. Yeah. I can do you know why? Do you know why the company like doesn't care about the players? About why is that? Because they think modders are going to fix the players for them. Oh, yeah, that's why I said they just ask. They just ask them and just say, well, if you don't like it, you fix it. <laughs> yeah. But then they ban them. For fixing it. <laughs> Honestly, though, I mean, some some modded games are better than the original game. I mean, oh, my God. Most modded games are better than the original game. Are you kidding me? Long War comes to mind. Mm. Yes, Long War, so especially. Much, so much better than regular XCOM. I'm sorry. I've never I just played I XCOM. I honestly I don't know what's think wrong. of what is, any game. What is wrong with you, Sabouts, that you have not played XCOM? Uh, trust me, I want to. What, what, what's stopping you? Maybe, what's stopping play, my... maybe play one less of those those like games that you find on, you know, I don't know where you find some of these things that you're playing, and that's fine. Occasionally, I'm sure you find a gym, but XCOM, buddy, come on now. You got <laughs> to. I know. I know. If you're gonna yeah, play every obscure strategy game, game in the world, you can at least try mods. XCOM. 
I mean every single online game, Mickey. What do you mean? Every, every single, single online. online game is modded <laughs> with mods. <laughs> Not really, right. if you have modded servers. Right the hell no. Word of thanks. <laughs> mods are mod destroyed, word of thanks. Because they turn that, it into hacks, not mods. Yeah, but that's not that's not a mod. That's they're, they're cheap modifications. They're not the kind of thing that uh, fixes things, uh, adds content. To... Well, I'd say this war is going fairly well for Research us so far. Complete. What do you think, guys? Yeah, yeah. it's working out, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> We've taken over like one empire already. Oh, that's funny. How you doing up there in the north part? Good. Yeah? Okay. Yep, definitely. What's our what's our what's our war goal? Oh. <laughs> Did you see the war goal? Six versus forty-four? Yeah, it's going pretty well for us. The effort is is definitely going pretty well. We need to physically take some of the planets, though, I think. Yeah, I'm taking every single planet I'm going through. Oh, are you? Okay, good. Ah. Somebody said to me that I can't glass the enemy planets, so I'm trying to conquer them instead. <laughs> I also they... think you should be able to trade influence. Because, mm. yeah, you should be able to, because you would be able to, in you know, in a real situation, you would be able to barter your influence for the benefit of another. That's, that's like the core part of po politics, right? Yeah, yeah. that makes yeah. sense. Like, you know, I'm going to parlay my influence, whatever. And maybe, maybe it doesn't come into effect, influence being able to be traded until there was like a, you know, like a united, you know, space nations or whatever. At some point, there should be, like, a galactic council that comes up. Maybe, like, 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 you know, uh, <laughs> maybe, like, mid-game or something, it comes up. Mm, that's an interesting idea. To be honest, I really found it interesting. I want to see... Um, how do I say this? I'll wait to come in. I wonder what the next expansion is going to be. Is it, is it supposed to be espionage or ground combat? Does anybody know? Espionage. It is espionage? Okay. Yeah. The last time I checked it, yes, espionage. That's cool. Yeah. So we have to uh, waste our, our resources on counter espionage. Or. My torpedoes are going to glass the planets of people that are spying me. <laughs> they are dead, they can't spy on you. That's the way I feel. <laughs> that's gonna be your that's gonna be your policy. Yeah, that's how you're gonna policy. handle it. Yes. What do you think of the intelligence gathering uh apparatus of Research Vanguard's complete. Empire? Well it's quite effective. It is. Oh yes, it's an extensive destroying all life elsewhere as to not require any agents at all. Oh, okay. You should see the glass structures that we make when we nuke some planets. They're very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of ice sculptures, you make glass sculptures? Yes. Also, the the charred statues that are left behind from the population, they are <laughs> works of art. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah. There's a museum on my capital that's displaying every single charred species leader after the nuke hits God. their palace. <laughs> so we, they are never forgotten. In their most beautiful form, the charred form. Yeah. The amount of thought you've given this is disturbing. Yeah, <laughs> for a sight. 
And I haven't even started with the penal colony jokes yet. Oh, what's geez. so what's so what's so funny what's so funny for those of you that don't know Vanguard personally is that he's like a really super like one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Like he's a super nice guy. And anytime we're playing a game, however, he is the most bloodthirsty, ruthless bastard ever. <laughs> Thank you, it's not me, it's him! <laughs> you are the chaotic guy, Mickey. I'm the bastard guy. <laughs> I just want to see the word burn. <laughs> Do you know that that music from Fallout 3, 3 intro? Oh, I yeah. don't want to set the word on yeah. fire. That's I not true with me. I just want to set the world <laughs> on fire. Yeah. Actually, that's my favorite music. <laughs> la, da, da, da. I just to your heart. A flame in your heart. <laughs> just for you. Just for you, I did that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. yeah. I just want to set the world on fire. <laughs> your world, aliens, not mine. Uh oh. I think I messed it up. Let's see how a 59k fleet deals with the dreadnought. <laughs> Okay, so strategic coordination center, the next stage after hull is comms. So that gives you 100 naval capacity, plus 4 to your star base, plus 8 defense platforms, and plus 10% to sublight speed. Yum. That's at the second stage. Yep. But at this I think point, I got the disabled dead or not. But at this point, that's 45,000 alloys invested. Oh my god, do you have 45,000 alloys? Well, not now. I'm just saying that's how oh. much I've spent on that thing so far. So That's it is insane. It is pricey. There's no doubt about it. How many hours are you sitting on now? Uh, 9k? 9k? Yeah. Pretty good. Vanguard, you can cancel that one deal if you need to, buddy. I'm, I'm okay on minerals again, finally. Yeah, don't worry. I have plus 133. Oh, okay. So... When I did the deal with you, I was a little bit short, but just going up this out of this game. <sighs> I just want my abandoned dreadnought. I wish that you could refeed that dreadnought thing. It's such a nice fleet ship. I mean. Big guns, go right there. Oh, that's to kill unknown aliens. I didn't mean to do that, but I guess it doesn't matter. That's fine. We can do it. Have we seen any of the enemy yet use jump drives or no? Is that, okay, mm -hmm. so they're not using them yet. They're not, they're way, they seemingly, they are way behind. Like, way behind us in tech, all of them. That's. Odd. Well, the reason yeah. it's strange is we're playing on Admiral. Yeah, that's that's what, what I was going to say. How the hell are you playing on Admiral and they are so far behind? I mean, you we're know just, what I'm trying to we're say. Just, yeah. We're just we're just that good, man. We're just that yeah. good. Time, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, maybe. Every time that we play on Admiral by ourselves, wow, it's very hard to stay ahead of the curve. At least yeah. it is. Here, no problem. I wonder if they changed some stuff with the AI. Or something. There's gotta be something Just we're the missing. Last minute. There gotta be something yeah. we're missing. Yeah, that that would make sense. I've never. Uh, this is crazy. Eleven to eighty-three percent. You ever seen a swing that big? I haven't. For what? War with the war goals progression. Oh. Eleven to eighty-three percent. Pretty good. Yeah, actually, the way that ground combat's working now, it's not bothering me anymore. No, it's pretty good. And I like yeah. that, you know, your guys don't just stand there when they're dying and, you know what I mean? Do they really actually, please. like, pull off the front line now. Yeah, this is why it's not bothering, bothering me anymore. That's a. Um, um, what's the word I'm searching for? It's a nice placeholder. Let's put it like that. 
Yeah, until they can actually do an expansion for it or whatever DLC for it. Yeah, exactly. Wow, devastation of this the planet, 100%. Good job, Admiral. What's your name? Unit S8. Okay, you're going to get a promotion when you're back home. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be made out of glass, the glass of your enemies. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> yeah, actually the purple heart of my of my my empire is not a purple heart, it's a glass heart. Oh my purple. goodness. <laughs> Guys, I've got an admiral that has gale speed, psychic, and trickster. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's the wet dream of Corvettes, the best commander possible for Corvettes. Currently wow. leading my Titan team, <laughs> but I, he just picked up that I didn't, ha you know, he wasn't before. So doesn't matter. He's happy where he is. <laughs> Big boy on the block right now. Yeah. Wow. What's funny too is he's only level two. Wow. And he's already got those three traits. That's pretty sweet. Oh, I hope he stays alive. How old is he? Oh, he's 112. I uh. <laughs> again, again, that not being able to like, dr like do actual training. When you're not at war with your people, come on, still, that come sucks. on, dev team, come that on, should dev team. Be, that should definitely be a thing. Yeah, war games well, or whatever. Could, even if you could build like a, I don't know, facility or something. A war college or, or something? Or Officer cool. war college? Yeah, it'd be cool if you could, what if you could do actual war games? Like what if you're, you That's could what have I'm like saying. mock battles with your allies, right? Yeah. You could, put your, you could put your fleets against each other and they would like, like, they would fight each other, but they wouldn't actually do damage to each other. Kind of like, you know, war games like we do nowadays. Right. Yeah, a simulated combat. Yeah, we just shoot each other with, you know, fake guns and crap. Pew pew. That would be awesome. <laughs> pew, pew. So if I could be like, oh, you know, man, let's train our fleets together. We could have our fleets training in a system or something. Yeah. I wouldn't ever do anything else in the game. <laughs> yeah. from simulated fleet combat. I mean, it doesn't have to give huge bonuses or like go, you know, it doesn't have to complete. raise experience ultra fast or something, but just something you could have your fleets doing when you're not at war instead of just sitting there soaking up resources. Well, it's just silly. A guy will be like the admiral of a fleet for 80 years and he just barely like, like, what? Where's engineering? I, what? Oh, it's aft. Okay. I mean, it's like they're that inexperienced. <laughs> they're like asking people where the cafeteria is. It's like, come on. <laughs> Excuse me, the mess. Thank you. These poor troop transports. Okay, is there any other enemy? Yeah, there are other enemy systems, okay. Man, we just steamrolled both of these empires. Like they were nothing. They are nothing. Wow, you guys have already cleared the other empire. Now I have to see what they're talking about more. God damn it. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's not, it wasn't one of them. We've cleared out both of them. Wow, just wow. So, Mickey's yeah. gonna add a few systems to his pocket. I I can tell you that. Then game crisis are nothing going wrong to with that. Alive. <laughs> Mal, you missed a system at your end. A sector, uh, uh, yeah. System, sector, system, that's it. Where's it at? Um, oh, you're heading to it right now. Okay, never mind. Karagos? Karagos, yeah. Yeah, I got it. The only bad thing about battleships and titans is that they are so slow, God. Yeah, they are. Well, I mean, if you've got gill speed. <laughs> <laughs> and if you've got plus 10% sublight speed to your whole fleet. Because the coordination center, they're not too they're not too slow. They're okay. Yeah. Construction complete.
I come into your planets to glass your shit. It's so nice to glass planets. They are so beautiful when they are on their marble shape. <laughs> some are blue, some are orange, some are red. Depends on how cool they are after I finished with them. <laughs> They need more things to spend influence on in the late game. Or like Mickey's saying, there should you should have, it should be a bigger storage thing for him or something. Does the amount of influence you can hold increase the game progresses? No, no. it's always a thousand. It's never more, it's never less. And you can't affect it. Oh, that's cute. There's a hostile fleet attacking a 5.7k with 1k. Let's see how that works out for you. Oh, dead Zor. And there are so many little fleets running around recapturing systems. Doesn't seem to be adversely affecting our score much, though. Yeah, not worth it to keep. Don't care, pick up whatever you guys want. Oh wow, I didn't realize this. I've almost got my um, Empire Sprawl and, and administrative, administrative Capacity on parity with each other. That's a achievement by its own. Not Especially because you're a Megacorp, it's very hard to do that as a Megacorp. I was like, what? Really? Okay. Not gonna argue with it. Not bad. Oh, we are over time. Are we? Oh, yeah, we are way over. Okay, yes, folks. Yes, sir. We'll continue this war in the next one. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal for Mickey Sam... Sambats? How about Sambats? <laughs> Sambats? Sambats. 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 It's Sambats and Vanguard. We will see you <laughs> <laughs> later. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Guys. Bye. 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 Bye.